This is the Waves Just Relax series on nutrition and stress. This is video 2 in the series. In our first video on the subject, we made the simple statement it all comes down to a balanced diet. Our suggestion was to make a list of what you eat for a week. We also reminded you to write down everything you eat. Again, everything you eat. In this video we are going to discuss what a balanced diet is and key factors as to why it is important for your stress management. Let's take a moment and share that anxiety is defined as a disorder characterized by persistent worry and nervous depression. It is a disorder that is characterized by low mood or loss of interest in activities. In many situations, anxiety and depression are associated with poor brain health. Scientific studies have concluded that brain functions, referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitters, involved in mood are not being produced or not functioning properly, due directly to diet. There can also be overstimulation of the limbic system, emotions, in the brain, caused by chronic inflammation and neuroinflammation, or oxidative stress, which affects brain function. Research has revealed that our gut health is also inextricably interwoven with our brain health, through the two-way gut-brain axis. Dr. Stephen Gundry has written books detailing the research on leaky gut syndrome and gut health and how to improve our gut health. In turn this directly affects our overall health, including specifically, our mental health. Check our blog, wavesjustrelax.com, and our upcoming tip videos, for more information on Dr. Gundry. Here are some facts to consider. The majority of serotonin receptors are in the gut, and about half of the body's dopamine is synthesized in the gut. Leaky gut and gut inflammation affect inflammation in the body and brain. We now know that many mental conditions, including anxiety and depression, are co-expressed with gut dysfunction. Some foods can lower the severity of symptoms, mostly due to their brain-boosting and gut-healing properties. Foods that combat inflammation and oxidative stress. Foods that provide the lacking nutrients needed for neurotransmitter production. Foods that help heal the gut lining and balance our gut bacteria. Foods that keep blood sugar in balance, no major spikes and crashes. Above all, eating a consistent healthy diet with nutrient-rich whole foods and limiting refined and processed foods is the best way to keep our bodies and brains balanced. To fight off anxiety and depression symptoms. Now let's discuss the best foods that can help relieve anxiety and depression. Fatty fish and wild-caught salmon. Meat, poultry, eggs, dairy and soy. All meats. Note that fish, eggs, dairy and soy are excellent sources of amino acids and complete proteins. Turkey and chicken are some of the best sources of tryptophan and tyrosine. Dark meat is the best source of tryptophan, zinc, selenium, and iron. Consider adding probiotic and fermented foods as probiotic yogurt and sauerkraut. Other foods to include green tea, chamomile extract, and dark chocolate. Also include in your menu planning, nuts and seeds including walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, chia, flax, and hemp seeds. It should always go without saying. Include vegetables and fruits in planning your balanced diet. What should we steer clear of in planning a balanced menu to help fend off depression and anxiety? Alcohol. Excess caffeine. Refined and added sugars. Refined grains. Processed foods and fast food. Refined and inflammatory oils. Processed deli meats. Artificial sweeteners and additives. Make sure you check our blog for more information www.wavesjustrelax.com Nutrition and stress go hand in hand. Use the resource tools, books and articles to assist in moving more toward a balanced lifestyle. Now your exercise for this week. Take the list you made from last week. You know the one. You were supposed to write down everything you ate. Start checking off those foods that were listed here that are part of a balanced diet. 
Go to our blog page and look under nutrition and stress section and find a quick reference list. Take this week and replace just one item from your list that is on the bad list to a food that is on the good list. One step at a time. Remember change your habits, change your life. Do it one step at a time. If your one step is changing three bad foods with three good foods, well that is excellent too. But don't go crazy like going from a carnivore to vegetarian in a week. Drastic changes will not change your habits in the long term. Go slow, focus, and make simple tiny changes, one step at a time. Until next week. Focus on balance in nutrition and equally. Your time. Exercise, meditate, and chill out whenever you can.